Welcome back to another episode of Ruthless TV, where I break down Tyler Perry's The Oval, scene by scene. Now, let's get into this trailer number one breakdown. In clip number one, we see Hunter pissed at Donald for not bringing Ella to him when she arrived for work, going into his I'm Hunter and I want what I want mode again. There could be a million and one reasons why Ellie hadn't showed up. She could be in the bathroom, she could be running a little behind, or maybe she just didn't want to come. Does Ellie ever get any work done? She seems to be in the Oval more than she is her own office. Then in the next clip, we see Ellie telling Hunter that she will see him however and whenever she wants to. See, it's this moment right here that lets us know that Ellie has a death wish. She should have never stood up for herself. She should have kept quiet and kept it moving. We can't forget that just in the last episode or two ago, Hunter was giving Ellie up when they had to go and see Victoria's father. Hunter said that if anything came up, he said to let old father time know that Ellie was a threat to Jason and to them. We all know what happened to Diane when she threatened to go to the FBI. Kyle cut off her pinky toe and sent her to that press secretary heaven in the sky. Now where did Ellie get this fresh set of balls from? Last time I checked she was moping around the White House playing victim to Jason's shenanigans. Then we cut to the vile and vicious Victoria harassing poor Alan here to pull his pants down. What really? Oh yes. And the only way that I can get this to make sense is if they got rid of Ellie and need some of Alan's DNA to cover it up. Yeah that makes sense. And of course, Alan thinks it's inappropriate if he pulls his pants down, exposing his wee-wee. But he's gonna do it because Victoria ain't leaving until he does. They're probably trying to get rid of Ellie's body like they did Jean's. Then we move on to Barry here. See, this is where Barry would have had some more of Elder Mother's dust on his face. If I was Nancy, I would have knocked the dog stew out of Barry for running his mouth to me. But Barry ain't wrapped too tight. He's very disrespectful to his parents and he gave Nancy a hypothetical. He wanted to know if it were him at the compound, would she go and get him? Then he answered his own question. He implied that Nancy would not go to the compound to get him because she darn sure didn't go and rescue Picky. And it's right here where Barry's face will be swole for about two weeks. I'm just saying. Let's just move right along because Barry gonna make me say some stuff that I may regret later. The final frame shows Kyle expressing concern for Dale. He told Donald that he wanted to get far away from him. So Kyle is upset and disappointed in Donald for putting a hit out on Dale and rightly so. We finally get to see Kyle exhibit some human emotion which is what I've been waiting to see all along. Now look, as I was finishing up editing on this video, a whole nother trailer is now available, so I'll just make another video, so make sure you check it out. This concludes this episode trailer for season three, episode number two. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. I'd appreciate it. I wanna thank you for joining me on this episode of Ruthless TV, and I'll see you on the next one.